Still nine days here in America till Super Sunday. Long days for the Bills to ponder redemption, for the Skins Joe Gibbs to invent some new wrinkles, for corporate sponsors to stock up on long underwear. For the latest on the pregame preparations, we check in now with both camps, starting with Andrea Kramer in Buffalo. Sports Center. All right, Joe, an apology today from Skins backup offensive tackle Ed Simmons to his teammates after Simmons' arrest early this morning for driving while intoxicated. D.C. police say they stopped Simmons in Georgetown at 2.30 a.m. Court date for the six-year veteran will be set shortly. Now to hockey. While the All-Stars prepare for the NHL's Sunday showcase in Philly, Chicago's Stu Grimson, who will be more at home in All-Star wrestling than the All-Star team, is beginning a 10-game unpaid vacation. We suggest Grimson put on a white jacket with nice long sleeves and sit in a comfy padded room for a while. He went nuts last night. Blackhawks and Leafs in a brawl. Wendell Clark of the Leafs fighting with Steve Smith. Everybody on the ice for both teams getting involved here. Referee uh, Dan Morelli will try to step in. And Grimson is throwing punches wildly in the pile and landing most of them. There's Morelli trying to step in and prevent him from uh, continuing. He pulls away from him. Grimson and Steve Smith with a bloody face, the headbutt there. Keenan trying to control his player. But Grimson pulls away, goes after the Leafs again. He was given 37 minutes in penalties. The 10-game suspension equals the longest this season. It'll start on Thursday. Not exactly hockey at its best. Just an excited Now, Gary Kubiak trades in the orange and white Broncos unis for the maroon and white polyester coaching threads of Texas A&M, his alma mater. Kubiak will coach the running backs for R.C. Slocum, who was an assistant when Kubiak quarterbacked the Aggies. The 10th round pick backed up John Elway for nine years, proved his value with the superb fourth quarter against the Bills, almost leading Denver back to the Super Bowl. Meanwhile, the Jets have hired the man who helped build four Steelers Super Bowl teams. Dick Haley is New York's new director of player personnel. He spent 21 years quietly doing the same job for Pittsburgh until he resigned last week. In the calm before the Super Bowl storm, and we hope we don't mean 18 inches of snow. Chris Berman offers some early tidbits on the Bills skin shootout. Is it too early for a Swami selection? Or maybe a Twin Cities windshield prediction? We shall see in this week's Two Minute Drill. Scoop. Who's in line for the Seattle job after the Sonics boom was lowered on Casey Jones? When will the Barkley trade rumors ever die? And when will James Worthy wear out? Jackie McMullen of the Boston Globe tackles those subjects in this week's NBA Beat. Desert of Palm Springs, Steve Elkington trying to stake his claim as the tour's hottest player. The Aussie won the year's first event and shared the lead after two rounds of the Bob Hope Classic. But today, Elkington outplayed by just a brilliant round by Lieutenant Frank Drebin. No. Leslie Nielsen showing us the naked four. swing. <laughs> yeah, you better yell four because it's going on the cart path, Leslie. Doesn't Please. shoot straight in the movies, doesn't shoot straight on the golf course. Now to the professionals, the guys who get paid to play. Robert Gomez on the ninth, the Palmer course, chipping for Eagle. Still the heartbreaker as it rolls through. Gene Sowers, star of the day. Second shot at 17. Playing at La Quinta today. Gets within four feet of the pin. He would birdie that hole. Sowers only putted 23 times today. Buries the 15-footer at the 18th to go 18 under. Sowers with a 64 has a one-stroke lead over Elkington, who has just finished at 17-under. Perry and O'Mara tied two shots off the pace, still two rounds to go.